All right, let's see what all the fuss is about. What is Ant's mana like? Now, if you guys don't know, my nickname is Ant for Antics. So I got to check this drop out. I got to see whether it's actually a viable, decent drop spot. I've heard it's not the best, but we've got this drop and we've got Black Panther's new drop. So let's check it out. See whether it's possibly worth dropping at. If there's anything interesting at all. One thing that is interesting about these drops is they don't always spawn. They're not always here. And it looks like they're having rifts spawn around. There is a rift. Okay. That's pretty huge. Even if the drop spot isn't that good, rotating through a rift would be massive. Okay. So it's got two rifts on it. So it's just, so it's right now, it's just here outside Holy Hedges. And there it is, Ant Mana located. So if you if it's on your map, so when you join into a game, if you open up your map, you'll know it's in your game if you see the red ring. If there's no red ring, it's not in the game because sometimes it's not. Okay, so we got <laughs> we've got a giant Anton dog ball. We've got the giant dog kennel. It's, a, it's actually a really cool drop though. Can you hit the? Oh, you can't hit the tennis ball. Come on. Okay, there's like a giant base down here. There's a bunch of eggs. I'm guessing like ants eggs. We have another chest spawn, a few different floor spawns. It's 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 not like an insane drop, but so far that's a fair bit of loot. It's a bunch of brick down here, a bunch of wood. I mean, the biggest thing is going to be those rifts, though. Those rifts are massive. Okay, that also goes down there. You can build on them as well, which is cool. You got what looks like, I think, a giant sugar cube, I think. <laughs> got some vials of blood, which is a little bit weird. I wonder if that means we're going to get an... I hope we get an Ant-Man skin, because that I would rock. If I could be Ant the Ant-Man, that would be awesome. Okay, so there's a fair few floor spawns. There's a few chests. It's a cool POI regardless. I mean, there's there's quite a few chests here. It could be a somewhat decent solo drop. You can bounce off, you can bounce off the little dog chew toy. Is there anything up on the roof? I think that's pretty much it, but I mean, I've got my eyes set on that rift though. That's crazy. They've got rifts back in the game now. So even if you don't drop here, if you drop somewhere like Holy Hedges, and then you can rotate into these rifts. This could be massive. It works just like the old rifts. This is really, really cool. But I don't understand why they spawn sometimes and why they don't spawn others. Like, it's not every single game. There's not always the ants mana here. Same with the new Black Panther drop, which is down here, which we're going to check out again in another game. But so far, this is really cool. This is the stuff that I wanted, man. This is what's been missing from Fortnite. Fun new content and stuff that's changing throughout the season just to keep it interesting. I really like it. All right, let's check out what Black Panther's place is like. All right, we've checked out Ant's Manor. Now let's see what Black Panther's got in store for us. It's in a cool spot. It's down here just to the west of Misty Meadows. It's a pretty decent spot. It's pretty big too, man. I love the Black Panther statue, man. That is so cool. Such sad timing as well. Like, it's going to be such a bittersweet kind of moment to check this out. That looks so cool. Okay, Black Panther drop is looking awesome. I arguably would say it looks better than Ant Manor, but again, you've got the red ring, so if you know it spawns, it's probably going to have that red ring, I imagine. Oh, there's a chest inside the Panther's mouth. Okay. So what have we got? We've got Panther's Prowl, and again, it's got that little red ring around it. So we've got one chest inside the mouth of the Panther. You've got some floor spawns. You've got a whole bunch of bushes. Oh, the music is so nice. All right, now you can't break these. Okay, so these aren't materials. Now, they got any rifts? Are there any rifts? Oh, there's rifts as well. This is ridiculous. So now we've got two locations on the map that both have rifts in them. Okay, you also have a chest down here in the bush. You have another chest down through here as well. Man, I reckon they're going to do some really cool stuff with these POIs. The map is changing so much. I was one who at the start of the season was a bit let down with how little had changed on the map. But if they're going to start doing things like this, that's kind of crazy. It looks like it doesn't have as much to it as what Ant's Mana does. It's only really got the one chest in the mouth. It's got a chest over there and maybe a few chest spawns in the bushes. There's nothing else really going on. It's also really high up. Like, this is a bit sketchy to jump off. If you jump off the far end, you're going to be in trouble. Can you get on top of the panther? Oh. Okay, you get on top of the panther. Is there anything cool up here? Is this like maybe like a challenge or something? I haven't looked at the challenges to go with these. I'm pretty sure there's going to be challenges to do with these as well. So you got one rift down there. And you got another one over there. I wonder if there's... So is there just two rifts at every... I mean, it could be a coincidence, but I've just dropped Ant's Manor and there was two rifts. And now I've dropped here and there's two rifts. Now, I think they're going to be the same. I think it's just going to be a regular rift that sends me to the top. 
It is. Okay, so it's just a regular rift, but that is so cool, man. Like, look how beautiful it looks. And again, if you're dropping Misty Meadows in games and you need some easy rotation, if those rifts are still there, this is massive. The fact that rifts are just casually spawning around the map is insane. If I had to pick one of the two, though, I think I like Ant's Manor a little bit more. It's just a little bit cooler, but this is visually stunning. But, I mean, you got one chest up here, one chest down there. Like, it's going to be a pretty sketchy spot to drop. So, if you're going to drop here for some challenges, good luck, because you're going to need it. This is going to be a bit of an intense fight. All right, guys, that does it for another video. I know it was short and sweet. Didn't want to drag this out. And I know it's not the kind of content I'm always making on my channel, but I thought, hey, I'm sitting here. There's two brand new locations on the map. You may have not seen them or heard about them. So why not make a video on it? If it helped or you liked it, please chuck a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm putting out a whole bunch of competitive content and it's just stuff like this, just keeping you informed about the game. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.